My name's Jeff Shano. I'm a professor of soil science at the Soil Science Department at the University of Saskatchewan. Uh, my work is in uh, the area of uh, soil nutrient management and uh, I'm uh, at the Top Crop Management uh, Seminar here uh, uh, this morning to talk a little bit about uh, manure, the value of manure and in particular uh, cycling of nutrients uh, between soils, plants and animals and effectively managing manure to do that. I think uh, when we think about uh, comparing manure to conventional fertilizer, uh, one of the important differences between manure and conventional fertilizer is that uh, most manures contain organic matter. And that organic matter contributes to the uh, soil, uh, uh, soil's uh, quality, its ability to supply nutrients. Uh, it also contributes to uh, important uh, physical attributes of the soil like water infiltration and retention. So manure uh, adds nutrients but it also adds organic matter as well. And that also contributes to carbon storage in the soil. Uh, the other thing about manure though that makes it challenging is compared to commercial fertilizers it's rather dilute. Uh, it has low concentrations of nutrients compared to your typical commercial fertilizers. That means, to, that, that means to apply the manure at an agronomic rate that the crop needs you literally have to apply a few thousand gallons per acre or a few tons per acre in order to meet a crop requirement. The differences between liquid and solid manure are really related to the forms that the nutrients are in, mainly in those two different nutrient sources, uh, manure sources. So the liquid manures tend to have a higher proportion of the nutrients contained within in forms that the plants can immediately use. Whereas the solid manures tend to have lesser proportion of the nutrients in the forms that the plants can immediately use and more of their nutrient in organic form. And nutrients in organic form have to be converted into inorganic forms in order to be uh, used, be taken up by plant roots. And so this process called mineralization, conversion of organic nutrient into these plant available inorganic forms, is a process that has to take place with uh, organic matter in uh, solid manures uh, in order for those nutrients to become available. So generally we think of liquid manures as being more valuable in terms of providing available nutrient over the short term, whereas the solid manures tend to be more important as a slowly available source of nutrient that adds organic matter and that can supply nutrients slowly over several years. Well I think that uh, any farmer that's, uh, that's out there or, uh, or a manager that's, that's looking at nutrient management, uh, if they have the opportunity to access and use manure, it's a very valuable res uh, resource. And one wants to manage manure like a fertilizer. That is, uh, test it to know what's in it, uh, to uh, consider nutrient balances, make sure that you have the appropriate balances of nutrients because manure typically doesn't have the uh, balance that, 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 that crops need always, so you may need to supplement with commercial fertilizer, uh, use appropriate uh, application strategies, uh, for example getting that manure in the ground is particularly beneficial for increasing the crop recovery and the utilization of nutrients. And finally I would say is just like with commercial fertilizer fertilizer as the trend is more moving towards precision management of commercial fertilizer. Uh, those same types of philosophies and strategies, uh, uh, um, thinking about uh, managing manure nutrients precisely uh, is very important and uh, just like with commercial fertilizers, uh, you know, strategies like variable rate application, um, GPS based uh, uh, application strategies I think are, 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 are beneficial for manure as well. So we need to be thinking about manure application both from an agronomic standpoint and also from an environmental standpoint. And so really what we want to do is we want to keep those manure nutrients in place. We don't want them running off the field with water. We don't want them going off to the atmosphere as nitrous oxide, uh, uh, for example, which is a, a greenhouse gas. So really applying what are called the 4R principles, the right rate, the right source, the right time, the right place to manure is an effective way of getting the maximum 
economic and agronomic benefit from those nutrients, get it into the plant, and when you do that, when it's in the plant, it's not somewhere else sitting in the soil where it's susceptible to loss. So for example, matching the application rate of manure with the crop removal over time so that you keep a balance, that you're not putting more in than what's being taken out such that you're loading up the system. You can avoid that by matching your application rates, by putting the manure nutrient into the ground, uh, by applying it at a time of the year that uh, is coinciding with when the crop needs it, uh, not applying manure in the winter on top of snow for example. Uh, all those are kinds of practices uh, that uh, will uh, contribute to better crop response from the manure nutrients and also minimize the risk of that nutrient entering somewhere where it shouldn't be, like into water or into the atmosphere.